There are so many valuable items in Dinkum that you can sell for some quick cash. However, I wanted to talk about a more consistent way of making money when you're first getting started on a new Dinkum Island. We'll be covering three different money-making methods, each one better than the last, and by the end of this video you should be set all the way into mid-game. This first money-making method is simply for your initial investment for the second money-making method we'll discuss. All you'll be doing when you first start is basically selling everything you can get your hands on. For me, this was every bug and fish that I caught, every shell that I could find on the beaches, and everything I could harvest from trees and shrubs. Honestly, if you just stuck with this method throughout your entire early game, you'd actually have some decent money. However, these items you'll be gathering early on play other roles as well, so I wouldn't make this your long-term plan. So, once you've managed to earn 6,600 dinks, you can afford to buy the Metal Detector. This item can make you a lot of money very quickly. Once you buy it, you'll have unlocked our second money-making method. The way it works is simple. Put the Metal Detector in your hand and simply scan. Everywhere. I like to focus on beaches because they're nice and flat, and they also seem to have a good amount of items to dig up. Just one trip around my town with this method earned me almost 20,000 dinks. I also recommend continuing to pick up random items you see along the way. This method has one huge drawback though. The items you dig up with the metal detector all have various other purposes in the game. With them, you'll be crafting some really important machines and even unlocking parts of the main storyline. So again, this method is likely one you won't want to stick to long term. Good news though. By the time you've gone through enough of the game to unlock metal detecting, you've likely accumulated enough points for your first trapping license. And this is the method that we'll be focusing on until we get more into the mid game. The way it works is pretty simple. Once you've created a handful of traps, you'll be able to place them anywhere on the map. Unsuspecting animals will fall prey to your traps, whether you set them and forget them, or you want to play a more active role in the process. You'll also need to craft an animal collection point, which will be used to send your animals in for evaluation. These can be placed anywhere you like. Even some of the most dangerous animals can be caught with these flimsy wooden traps. The key is to weaken them first, so if you're going to go out and actively do this to make money, I'd recommend bringing a spear with you to take down the health of the more aggressive targets. Once you do that, they won't be able to break out of your cages. After you've caught a bunch of animals, you'll begin sending them away using the animal collection point. The Animal Research Center will pay you the next day for each animal you catch. The more dangerous and rare the animal, the more money you'll earn. They'll also send you back your cages as well, so that you can begin the process again. One tip I have for you more active hunters is regarding the very slow walk you'll have ahead of you if your collection point happens to be far away. A number of times I found myself with several cages to move and not a ton of time to do it. There is, however, one way to make this a bit less painful. What you'll need is your first vehicle license so you can craft a rowboat. Dinkum's waterways are almost designed like roads, so the idea here is to have your boat close by as you go on hunting trips. From there, you can place at least two cages on your boat and then row back to your base with them. I personally have a feeling that if you really wanted to, you could push the limits and get three or four cages in one trip, but I haven't been too successful here. Let me know in the comments if you have better luck, and while you're at it, share your own money-making tips as well. I'll be putting together a follow-up on money-making in Dinkum soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.